Happy Easter and happy Divine Mercy Sunday. This is one of my favorite Sundays because, well, it's Easter season. And it's the octave day of the celebration of Easter, but it's, it's, it's one of my favorite because it has Doubting Thomas. Every, every year after Easter, we hear about Thomas being incredulous about listening to his brothers tell him that, oh yeah, Jesus has appeared to us. And, but Jesus doesn't, doesn't leave him out of it. And he comes and uh, appears to him and he, he's like, oh my Lord and my God, you know, he's like uh, amazed, you know? And so hopefully we have our own personal encounters with the risen Christ in our own lives. Um, maybe it's not a corporal presence of Jesus there, but hopefully when we receive communion and we show that intimacy with Jesus in Holy Communion, we have our own encounter. When we hear the word of God, when we hear Jesus speak, hopefully we have a, a profound personal encounter of Christ that energizes us to spread the good news and build up the kingdom. Uh, speaking about building up the kingdom, part of building up the kingdom at the parish is always fundraising, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but I just wanted to let you know this weekend, the parish pastoral council Every year they do a fundraiser for the parish. You might remember several years ago, they had the cookie walk. Um, last year, I don't, oh, they, they appealed to you directly so we could paint the exterior of the building of the church, which was a, a great success. This year, they're doing getting back to the 50-50 raffle. So there'll be a total of 400 tickets sold. Um, we wanna sell all of them because if we sell them all, then that means there are six prizes worth $10,000. So there's one first prize for well, it's right there, $3,000. Then there are two second prizes for 2000 and three third place prizes for 1000 So you have um, six prizes out of 400. That's great odds. I don't think you get that good of odds at the casino. The tickets, though, are $50. And if we sell all of them, that means we raise $10,000 for the church, for the general fund. So please, uh, if you are a person that gambles, Gamble for the class. church, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, hate to, I, I don't know. I, I hate, I hate, I don't want to uh, encourage anybody into a life of vice, but it is a fundraiser <laughs> for the parish, really. But there's a little, there's an opportunity you could win. And some people in the past have told me that they won and what they did with the prize money. So um, it's a fundraiser. They're going to be doing it during the Easter season. And then the drawing will be Pentecost Sunday after the 5 p.m. Mass. So um, the, the, most of the weekends of this Easter, they'll be out in the gathering space selling tickets. Uh, please stop by, purchase your tickets. Uh, also talking about partnership, you know, I, I, when I, we were talking about CSA, I framed it this year as it's a partnership with the diocese. They partner with us. That's the reason we're able to build our beautiful new church. Uh, so we need to be able to support the, the diocese and their mission and so that's what CSA does. So far, we're at 64% of our goal, which is great news. Uh, I'd like to get to 100% before you know it. It would be nice if we could get to 100% before the traditional summer break. That would be great. Um, so far, 256 families of our parish have participated. It'd be great if we could get up to 500 families. That's That would be my goal. And then our liturgical, um, donations for the church where would they call that that's what they call the fund the liturgical we could want to separate out but it's for the memorialization and sponsorship of stuff whether it be pews or the altar the ambo all that stuff um, we're doing quite well but we still have a lot of pews that need to be sold we're about halfway with them we have about 75 more pews that need to be um, memorialized or sponsored um, right now we're at a, a total of pledges of two million twenty six thousand five hundred and sixty three dollars and that's amazing you guys should congratulate yourselves um, thank you for pledging thank you for supporting and partnering with the church and thank you for partnering with the diocese with the csa campaign god bless you and i hope you guys have a wonderful easter season please pray for the repose of the soul of joanne coolman whose funeral mass will be friday april 29th at 10 a.m Please join me in praying the Synod Prayer. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. 
Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen.